don't do it guys don't place trades based on what you see here please consult your own financial advisors and do your own due diligence all right with that said let's go it is wednesday september 12th scratch that of course recording after midnight it's thursday morning september 13th look at this guys i'm up literally four hundred dollars uh, percent and a third for the week and for the day because i was virtually flat the whole entire time so let's look at some of the culprits here big one was silver exk of course up almost four percent which means a downtick on the selling of the put options which means um increase in the value of exk let's see how much it went up today 84 dollars 84 and then another 60 dollars on the options what else was new today let's see the um uranium but as you can see it's a sea of green today look at this it's like okay besides these virtually everything is green c-span up 3.2 percent huge winner russia up emerging market funds of sorts australia up one percent oils everything look at this it's all look at this it's all green right here boom uranium look at you 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 look at it ten percent what a boss look at this a 10 percent gain most of it later in the like, midday right here a tremendous pop it just fills my heart to see that up a hundred bucks it's perfect i've sold three contracts at the five dollar level i don't think it's ever it's gonna hit that but it's a they're long contracts their expiration dates is January 18th, so we'll see. Things that are not up today. Apple. Can you believe it? How genius am I? How absolutely genius am I? This is the level that I bought. I mean, it's so lucky. I don't want to take any credit. It's so lucky. It's, it's purely emotional. So... I'm so like look at this. I bought a put right here, actually at 28, 29. It was higher than this. I bought a put, sold it right here, right here at the bottom, 217. All right, made a huge gain. As you guys saw, I made a 200% gain in my put. Started with 245, end up at 730. And then I exited the trade right here, and look, huge pop the next day, and I said I was going to purchase, I might purchase a put, when if it pops, and it, somewhere around here, I purchased another put. But it was a less expensive put, I got to give you that, all right? So, before I had purchased a 22.5, so that this, it was already in the money. The put that I purchased here is for 215, I believe, let me see. Yep, 215 put. So obviously we're a long ways away from there. We got another six dollars to drop if that's gonna happen. But it's down today, so I'm already <laughs> in the right direction. I mean it's crazy. Look, it's a two dollar return. Yes, two dollars, huge gains. So I mean, if this keeps going, if I make money on this trade again, past the announcement, like tomorrow, we'll see what the trading looks like. I'm gonna be I'm gonna look like an absolute genius. I mean, if this thing drops below 215, that's just crazy talk. That's just crazy. It's got two days to do it. Actually, it's it's um, September 21st, so I got more than two days. We got another week, but it's really tomorrow's action that's what's going to determine the end up the pricing here. The announcement was all right. You know, they basically made better iPhone 10s. That's kind of what what I the takeaway is, you know. Yeah, there's some huge technological improvements that they talked about. I saw their announcements and everything, but all in all, only only a few select people care about that stuff. 
most people like me, they're not very tech savvy, I believe, don't really care about that. Like the phone functions fine. It looks cool, right? It has all these cool functions. It's smooth. It's it's pretty fast. It's fast enough. And we're just getting an upgraded version, a more polished version. I kind of know how exciting that is. You know, I just don't know. Does it warrant the uh, big premium jump that we saw here about, um, you know, a couple weeks back all the way to 229? You know, right here from 289? I don't know. So we'll see. It might drop all the way down either to the 206 level here, 207, or all the way down to the 190 level here. We'll see what happens. You could draw a line like this. It might end up at 210. We'll see. I don't know, but I've met my bet. And if this pulls through, man, I will have mitigated so many losses. It's unbelievable. I have if this drops a lot and it goes down to 210, let's say, I'm going to use all the proceeds and just buy Apple stock because just as a thank you Apple for having gone my way on these trades. I mean, how can you get this lucky? It's incredible. It's incredible. So, overall a super good day. Couldn't ask for a better day. We had silver, gold, uh, uranium, uh, look at this, 400 bucks in the positive. More than 400 because I started the day being a little bit negative. So that's what, $31. So 500 bucks. $500 day, which puts me back into positive territory since I started making the videos like a month ago. Um, which is good. We need to be making progress, not regress. So that's good news. So you can see all of these options fell down and that's where the majority of the gains came in. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. What, what's, what's interesting to note is that the market was pretty flat through all this. You can see this is my short market shares right here. Market was pretty flat. Even SIG went up a percent and 1.2%. And it's incredible. Okay, looking through the portfolio, nothing too outstanding. Uh, um, Chemico, you know, I'm hoping that it, it gets at least close to 10. If it finishes close to 10, I'll be happy, even if my uh, put sells trigger. I'll be happy because I can then just sell calls against what I have and then maybe even collect some dividend in the meantime. So I really don't care so much if chemical drops a little bit as long as it doesn't go crazy, right? I don't want it to go crazy and make like go all the way down below $9. That would kind of be a little bit of a kick, you know? I don't want it to get down to these lows here. That would not be nice, but they're making money, you know? We've got contracts locked. They're making moves. They're making intelligent decisions. They're saving a lot of money from, you know, closing their minds and stuff like that. They should not, Chemical should not be dropping down in price, at least for the next, like, two years. Who knows what's going to happen after that, but. So, look, I'm, I'm planning on making more money out of them. You know. That's going to be my cash cow, Chemical. Uh, I need new ones though. I definitely do. Um, the Ford put dropped, which is good because they have a nine dollar put because Ford went up a little bit. So that's in under you know it's on schedule. It's not acting out. It's on schedule. It's Gucci. So that's that's happening. And that's it. All right, just a huge gains today. It's it's nice uh, to see that on a Wednesday. Hopefully tomorrow follows with some more, and then on Friday as well. I just it's hard to believe that my everything turned my way today. Like usually, it's some things go my way, some things don't. 
but the fact that the apple thing uranium silver well commodities sometimes move together in tandem but you know in these foreign markets stuff like that look even china and jd went up a little bit and emerging market bonds if you guys remember uh, i bought a few of those i plan on buying more eventually but I don't have enough cash to actually uh, sell puts against them and accumulate them that way. So I just went into the market outright and just bought a few stocks just so I don't miss on any uh, gains. And it's a good way to kind of keep them on mind. It's really not that much, that big of a position. So uh, look, and in China, I have um, China ETF. I only have $285 on that right now. Just seven shares. And in JD.com, I got 10 shares. So nothing too spectacular, $276 and 30 cents. Nothing spectacular. I'm super excited about tomorrow. I want to see where this goes. Hopefully the gains continue. It would be nice to crack over $34,000 again. Um, I was there not too long ago. But I had a, a nice correction. As you can see, 34,252 is my high right now. Uh, that's all time high. So I'm close to the all time highs. Let's pull up an all time chart right here. Boom, right there, 34,252. We're working our way back up. All right, I'm excited. Hopefully it works out. Uh, looking forward to it. We'll see if I can come up with some nice, tasty, and interesting trades. Let's see that apple drop down to 210 or below so I can cash in and just accumulate mad amounts of stock. Funny note, I talked to one of my clients and, and I we made kind of a deal that if Apple goes to 500, I'm buying a Lambo. <laughs> I'm buying a Lamborghini, Lamborghini Urus, which is their um, SUV. It's going to be matte black. It's going to be sick. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So it's happening, guys. It's happening. Apple 500. I also have to, there's other uh, conditions on the deal, but it, it's going to happen. So I need to accumulate some stock so I can help out with the purchase there. All right. In any case, that's it for today. All right. I'm excited about tomorrow. All right, guys. Peace out.